Good day, this video is about media and over the last two years um, rather extreme things have been going on in Europe, in the US um, and <clears throat> for the last uh, 15 years we have been having the Middle Eastern conflicts the, um, the lies that led to the wars um, and it's been all reflected in the media and how media can twist the truth and how alternative media uh, arises now the thing is um, what's waiting after this stage of <clears throat> dinosaur media dying out and really being uh, uh, exposed for what it is is it's lots of alternative media sort of outlets where um, uh, although many of them uh, are, are doing a good job, they're all, always very biased. Uh, like all the commentaries, all the guests, everything is uh, arranged so that it points to one direction. Basically. So going from this sort of mono-dinosaur media, we are entering into the phase of uh, truth bubble media. For example, if I look at different media sites for example mainstream media some alternative sites on on um, on sort of every uh, spectrum um, of of opinion and then i meet someone who at my age or older who who is <laughs> on the level of te text tv sort of you know just picking up the daily paper or seeing something in their feed we are two different worlds. We are two different cultures. We 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 have like a, 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 a so different perspective of the world. It's like how is it possible to bridge that? Now that creates a gap within within gaps within an already uh, fragmentized um, <laughs> a cow fragmentized or the expression balkanized. Um, um, culture we have today uh, subcultures opinions and you know everything is fragmentized basically so we get these sort of truth bubbles and um, will it be better um, I think initially like alternative media will do their part but eventually they will become the things that one escaped from and one can see that already with uh, some of the um, the the media that's been around for for years and um i think this is permanent sort of it is it's it, it is like marshall McLuhan said the medium is the message so if the medium was newspapers tv and radio well you sort of have um, a very concentrated stream of information now we have not only internet, but internet in itself is, is a myriad of of channels, you know. And the thing is, um, why I found this sort of interesting in the long run, um, with the thought of last night's debate between Trump and Clinton, and uh, I've been also reading lots of uh, about... Uh, hey, he came up quietly. I just saw him on the screen. Uh, I've been reading on... Uh, uh, Niccolo Machiavelli and his book The Prince and like yeah, you know reading about him about the book and, and the book in itself and it's very brutally honest because I think uh, power in itself is has this sort of um, it needs the nutrition that Machiavelli um, talks about you can't have it otherwise look um, for years we have been told like one perspective you know uh, I mean uh, and after 9-11 the, the biggest sort of shock was there are weapons of mass destruction but there were none and that was an eye-opener for people now people forget of course people forget about that right now and um, but still it was an eye-opener but now we have different theories, uh, different 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 views of looking at things. We have we you can choose to see what Russians say about Syria. You can choose to see see what Englishmen has to say, what Swedes. You can see 
you can see it from every angle and uh, that creates um, um, a fragmentized sort of weak structure among a population eventually and I think the dinosaur media is dying out because um, there, there, there is just no, no nothing in journalism anymore I know uh, journalists in Sweden um, I know uh, for example people like to call themselves journalists but they are basically not even doing a journalistic work for example a blogger does more research than they do um, you know they maybe like work for um, yeah, for um, like in, in, in a city you have like um, areas and each area has their local paper they might work for that paper they might do this and that but they they're they are just like re re reproductors uh, reproducers you know you know go out and find something uh, unoffensive like write write about um, i don't know um, the, the 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 coffee cup society in the local church or something which is all right and then you have um, people who work for the Swedish radio and stuff and everything is dictated it's like it's like this facade of journalism democracy doesn't exist and what lacks today is basically an arena a democratic arena like like if we go back to the hardcore ancient idea of democracy not how it was but the idea you know you should basically have um, a stadium or something and you have two or three people and let them talk no commercials live live streamed um, you know they should respect their turns because many opinions are blocked basically so what you have is like you have this thought ideology or truth bubbles um, and people go to them and it's hard to leave once you get stuck in one and what 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 happens is that you become more estranged to your um, working place colleague or, or a family member or whatever because uh, they have been brainwashed by one opinion and you have been seeing another so that makes up for a division because before it, it used to be you know on a light scale we have like you know I'm 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 for this team and you for that and uh, there's a derby and we are like yeah you know who's gonna win and but that's a, that's the light level then we have the hard level of um, of opinions like let's say uh, abortion uh, religion uh, politics but now we're gonna have even more due to the media and why am I saying this is because people over the last 10 years uh, that I've been sort of discover I mean ever since you know alternative media sort of began on the internet in 2005 6 I have seen people convert uh, and just like change very much um, and and become open and realize that that there is you know more than one truth and at the same time one can uh, sit in a dinner with older people and they, they talk about text TV and th that's like it, it, it is like uh, on, on within that subject it is like talking to someone from the Middle Ages because if you, you can't even explain like how do you get your information because and and that's the division and I think this is going going to be um, a good thing really because uh, chaos will arise from that and uh, um, we will finally be forced to have an open arena I think where you have really uh, divided people entering and and debating and talking and um, officially not 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 like on a YouTube channel you know there's a channel who does that and that and maybe they have guests and, but I mean really like public like um, government sponsored or, or whatever you can have a football stadium uh, but uh, global events of discussions because everything is locked behind doors um, in Sweden they b broadcast the uh, parliament live uh, sometimes during the day um, I'm not sure um, and then uh, but but 
I think it will become more extreme and more open and more um, inviting for people to finally sort of realize that, you know, I can choose between two opinions and there's no one telling me or inter inter interpreting uh, uh, what they said to me because I can listen, I can think for myself, I can, I can realize something and then I can go see what other people think about it but I can refer to the original. Um, as in many cases people actually don't take part of the information for example the US debates the the Brexit debates people people didn't even take part of that because they read in the media you know that's bad that's that's the wrong thing and um, it works but I think th this will eventually drive it all to its end and uh, this election in the US will be a victory no matter what happens because none of the presidents will have a easy um, position both will be attacked especially be one of them Clinton if she wins it will just be a uh, more fuel to the uh, to the people who want real change and I think that what people thought Occupy was uh, in 2011 or 12 that w this will be the real thing because that was an orchestrated uh, thing um, so death to media basically and um, we have to realize that there's always an opinion that rules uh, on us. It's like Machiavelli, you know. It's it's it, we can't be fooled into thinking, you know, you have all these ideologies and they all compromise. No, there's always one that rules, and ev each one has its time. But at least let's be open about it. Let's be, you know, let's put it all into public arena. Uh, I think people deserve it, and nobody's gonna grant that to the people even to the lame, lamestream um, audiences, but uh, it will arise naturally from all this. That's my thoughts. Yeah, I hope you have a sunny day. Um, take care and all the best.